I'm just going to read off these compositions as you can't currently see it on screen. We had the Tam Kench going into the top lane here that has been locked in. Gragas, Vladimir, Sivir, and Trundle in from G2. And then, as you just mentioned, the Fiora. Also, the Rek'Sai in the jungle. Cassid in mid lane with Lucian and Alistair in support. So, couldn't get on your screen, so apologies for that one. But uh, you'll see it soon enough. Because the enemy team has invested everyone on, on top side. Trick might get caught out. On trick, Gilles gets a knocker. Raz chasing after. Oh, he's going into a bottle that he flashes in a straight line. Kling will pick up first blood for Mr. Rallis. Tiamat Rek'Sai paying off. Sprattle. Combo in from him, but. Fakes it. Oh, he will play. Tides of blood. Gilles is coming in with the help of Rallis. This will disengage the fight. Only Lucian Waitrin is great for Shelter. Now Mithy is trying to make a move. Abyssal Voyage will find Sprattle. I mean, he is level 6, but he's going to get gobbled up and spat back towards his team. Perks is also closing in as well. Sprout doesn't really have anywhere to go, and Sven is just kiting him around. He walks into Dragon. It will just annoy it to try and put a bit of damage down, but G2 are going to take it anyway. Towards the enemy towers. Then you need mid lane control first, but they couldn't get mid lane control before because they were 4 man for G2. So every team is kind of waiting for the small chest moves. Steve is dying right now, this guys. one-on-one, -on -one, but he's not doing so hard. Fox will come in to try and assist. He'll dance around Expect, and that should be enough to keep him alive. Oh, trick. Job, Expect. trick will stop him with the body slam. Not a rage for the Force Pulse. Gilius comes in to try and kill the but he missed the Q. Now he's Perth still running. To try and defend. He's running for dear life, but Sprout will find them. Thundercow finishes them up. A one-for-one -one trade. But Sven just took bot lane tower because Expect survived for such a long time. Schalke couldn't TP mid, but it could TP top lane. Sadly for them, they trade one for one and lose the tower. Can they get more? Oh, uh, they've maybe found Sven in rotation. Miffy is going to waddle to victory. Can he get out? But there now is you're losing a mid tower. Coming in here. He's going to flash. Can. Abyssal Voice. See you later, nerds. And now a mid tower goes down. Schalke just. Oh, wait. Oh, he's still there. Steve he's, found baiting. Him. he's baiting. <laughs> he's baiting. Uh, he's. Currently bait mid lane, Perks is dropping low, but he has uh, that Crimson Rush coming up, followed by the Tides of Blood, getting all that help back. Boomerang, he holds a flash away from it. That would have finished him off on the second swing. Yeah, he's Meanwhile, still here. he's actually just trading off against Steve. He misses the Tongue Lash. He's gonna exhaust him. him. He's gonna... <laughs> Tom Kench is trading off against a Fiora, and now with the help of Trick, they should be able to finish him off. I mean, Trundle's now coming in for the fun, lands the, the pillar, and that will be Trick finishing him off with the barrel roll. Oh, man. <laughs> but the problem is that you, you still kind of want Infernal Drake instead. Like, yeah, of course. Three clouds, one of the Infernal. There's less situation in which it's uh, just amazing. Fox is going to try and rift walk to safety, but Perks is putting so much damage down on top of him before that happens. He'll manage to duke him over the wall. Tam Kench, he's on the way. Uh, he finds Gilius, who actually comes into the fight. He's going to jump after Perks. But actually, he's just trying to get to safety. He doesn't want to be tongue lashed here. He's being slowed down by the Rylai's. A flash, another stack will slow him down, and the exhaust as well. Mr. Rylai's getting caught up in all of Hello. this action as well. He just walks in and instantly dies. <laughs> Gilius will guys. die. Wait a minute. What? He had flash and heal and everything. Doesn't matter. Shalker didn't manage to survive the early game as we talked about. They needed time for Fiora and Cassidy to scale up, to take over side lanes. Well, as you guys can see right now, G2 didn't give them any time. No. I feel like Shalker forced things as well where they shouldn't have. Yeah. Played impatient, which has been a big uh -oh. weakness of this team. Steve, run for your life. Okay, he'll flash away. Midi's everywhere. Yeah, he is the uh, arch nemesis of Steve this game. But can you give play of the game to a Tom Kench? Yeah, sure. Why not? Winning games, if you look at the last few weeks. And I even want to say like a team like Talk about that. Oh, now the cast in is. Can he get away? He'll flash over the wall. Uh, Expect is coming after him. No, no. Chomp down. Vladimir is coming. Vladimir is coming. Right the, the rift, Butler. Oh, he's going into the pit. Does he have the rift walk in time? Jump, jump, jump. He's trying to get over the wall. Makes it Rip just up. in time. Rip he's up. ticking down. Oh, Perks will flash after him as well. You're not getting away from me, Fox. So the point. I'm going to say instead the top five teams versus the bottom five teams have actually become consistent in Europe. Like Giants, 2 0 Vitality. Didn't. Really have any issues? H2K beat Vitality yesterday as well. Uh, you know, you just be, are beating Schalke right now. So the top five teams become more consistent yeah. than the bottom five, which is what we saw last split. And I think it's good. It shows that some of our teams have really improved a lot. That's true. Decisive victories now.
Yeah, no Gilead. one's like throwing it away. This right is now. your time to shine. Come on, Gilead. You need to get this steal. He goes Stop the your failure. Steal it. He's going down to a thousand. He's being knocked away. Trick will secure it. Down goes Gilead. Down goes the hopes of Schalke coming back in this game. Perks is just on a rampage in mid lane. If you were Schalke right now, Capiccio, mm -hmm. and you're in this game, and yeah. it's not going well, we can't face them on equal terms, we can't even make 1-3-1 one, one work. We're yeah. going into game two. What do you do? Do you just go for a bit of Wednesday dough, a bit of cheese? Do you try and cheese them out? We're going to have a fight so you can have some time to think about that question. And Schalke going to come in for the engage, but this isn't really a fight. This is just G2 running all over Schalke. Fox goes down, Steve dies, Sprattle trying to get away and try to limp back home, but he'll also go down. Gillis is trying to escape, and Miffy is going aggressive, almost under the fountain. And G2 are just lucky to close up the game here. Such a good game from G2, and a trick he wants to take down Gillis. Had those stats. Get the KDA. Right now. There we go. Make that 5 1 and 5. Good KDA to finish off the game. And the Nexus is falling. Spen's the only one on the Nexus, because G2 just want to make the highlight real. G2 take a commanding victory over Shadow in game one.